Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Noah from Phonog.com. And you know, sometimes we get requests for coverage of items that are like phones, but they're not quite phones. So we've done some coverage on the iPod Touch. We did a little coverage on the uh, Sony PSP and the Nintendo DSi. And we got a bunch of uh, requests from folks for our take on the Zune HD. Lucky for us, the Zune HD is powered by an NVIDIA Tegra chip. And uh, NVIDIA is going to be uh, putting some Tegra chips in some smartphones soon, and some smart books and stuff like that. And the Zune is a Microsoft product powered by Microsoft Software. And Microsoft obviously has a hand in the uh, mobile space with their Windows Mobile stuff. So we were able to talk to the good folks at NVIDIA and Microsoft and tell them what you all were saying. And they said, sure, here you go. And they sent Zune HD and the Zune HD and AV doc for us to check out. So thank you to the folks at NVIDIA and by turn, in turn, Microsoft for sending this our way. So we're going to unbox the Zune HD now. We'll do some other coverage on the, uh, the AV doc. Um, right now, we'll unbox that now as well. And then we'll, we'll, uh, you know, we'll take a look at that later. Later. But here you go. It's the uh, 16 gigabyte black version of the Zune HD. Just arrived today. I know it did come out a little while ago, but we just got ours today. Thanks again, Microsoft and Nvidia. Have I said that already? I think I did. So in the box, I'm kind of excited about this. I uh, did not really spend much time with the previous generation Zune, but I've heard really good things about this. Very excited about it. There you go. Powered by Nvidia Tegra. I've seen Tegra um, demos and very impressive. So there we go. There's the Zune, also in the box. You get a little thing that says Zune everywhere. And uh, you've got, you, know, you can hook it up to your Xbox 360. Do I have to get one of those now too? And Zune software and Zune net, Zune pass. So Zune pass is one of those things that uh, on first glance I was like, I'm renting music, I don't like that idea. But actually when you look at it, now I don't know what's in their catalog, I'm gonna have to go check it out, but it's a pretty good deal when you think about it, $15 a month, unlimited music, plus 10 MP3s to keep. So basically, you could think of it the other way. You're buying 10 MP3s for $15, $1.50 per song, plus you get all the music you want to listen to. You just don't get to keep it. And the friend of mine who convinced me, a guy named Chris, uh, who I met at some of the uh, tech shows. Chris, my friend from down south, if you're out there, what's up, man? You convinced me. He was like... Well, think about it, man. For all the albums that you buy and download and stuff, how many do you listen to actually more than a couple of times? And it's true. So that way it's like you're previewing all the music you want and the stuff that you really like, you know, you get those 10 MP3s a month or you can go buy MP3s from other sources as well. So, you know, not that bad of a deal if you think of that, about it in those terms and not just as I initially knee-jerk reaction did that was like, I don't like renting music. Because I grew up in an era where there was no subscription music. So anyway, also in the box, you get your Zune headphones. Color coded looks like is that color coded? No, it's just a little little thing on top, a little piece of film. But these are color coded. You get three sets of foamies, uh, different sizes or different uh, colors. You get your USB to Zune cable, standard USB on the other side. You get your welcome guide and your product guide, and uh, you get something that says "Preto commencer," and there you go. So there's your uh, there's your Zune HD 16 gigabyte model. I think I'm supposed to charge this for half an hour before using it, which means that I should go ahead and turn it on right now. It's really not a smart idea. Maybe there's no power in it. Though. Yeah, there is. Very slim. Um, I don't have an iPod Touch around. I do have an iPhone, which um, roughly the same size as an iPod Touch, but thicker. But so you can see, you know, the screen on the Zune is a little bit smaller. Um, the bezel area is smaller, but really thin. Feels really nice in the hand, very solid. The back, kind of nice. The, uh, the metal feels good. There's a video on it. Let's watch the video. I haven't looked at any of the directions. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I just wanted to turn the volume up. Really clear, bright display. That's really, I hope that's coming through on the video because that looks great. Preloaded with any music here? Nope, but I can go to the marketplace. 
Although I'm guessing I can't because uh, I'm not hooked up to Wi-Fi. I'm gonna have to do that. There's a picture. Kind of an interesting, pretty intuitive user interface. The screen is very responsive. So I'm going to have to sync this up before I can really do anything. Yes. Yes, indeed I am. All right, so there's a quick look at the Zune itself. And, uh, oh, hello from Seattle. Can you see that? Is that focusing? A little too close. It says on the side there, hello from Seattle. It's like a little Easter egg, but not really. Oh, there you go. Okay, so that, that'll get me to my volume. If you can go back to that video. Now it's at almost max volume. So let's see, maybe there's just not video with this. Or maybe there's just not a speaker built into the Zoom, and I need earphones. I'm really smart for being a professional, you know, gadget reviewer. I'm some kind of genius. Anyway, let's look at the dock now. This is the uh, the dock for the Zune HD and the Zune. The AV dock. We'll get my special uh, Yosemite National Park pocket knife here. This was a gift. And look at that. That works. Terrific. See, when I got that gift, I was like, oh, that's really nice of you, but, like, what's a tech nerd going to do with a pocket knife? I don't know how to camp. That's not true. I actually do camp sometimes. See, it has my name on it, too. Isn't that awesome? This is a terrific gift. And that's what it's, it's my unboxing tool. See? It's got my name on it. Anyway, sorry. Here's the dock. Oh, I guess this is supposed to open the other way. Yes. So what do you get? Dock. Can you see that there on camera? Dock, wireless remote, antenna, AC adapter, HDMI cable, composite cable. So here you go, you hook this up to your uh, TV set or your stereo or what have you, and your dock, and then there's a little adapter depending on what model you have, HDMI out, optical audio out, AV out, USB, so you can hook that up to, uh, I guess, your computer or your charger, and here's your uh, antenna for both FM and HD radio. And then you've got, here's your wall wart adapter, USB based. Your adapter, depending on which model Zune you have to plug in. What does this look like? So there you go, 4, 8, 16 gig, or uh, big boys. And then your wireless remote control, so you can control the zoom on the screen. So you hook this up, you hook it up to your 842-inch uh, plasma neutron ray super HD 597 hertz refresh rate TV set, and then you can look at your zoom menus up up on the screen. Also inside, a little zoom product guide and your cables. Nice packaging here, telling you. I'm guessing that's a HDMI cable, and that's your. Uh, Component cable, box within a box within a box. Do, you, do I need to open this? You guys know what cables look like, don't you? Oh. Oh, well. So there you go. There's your uh, HDMI cable, and then your other cables in there. I'm not taking that one. I'm leaving that in there. So there you go. Unboxing 
of the Microsoft Zune HD 16 gigabyte version in black and the Zune uh, HD AV dock courtesy of the folks at NVIDIA and Microsoft. Thank you for the loaner. Very excited to play with this. I have never owned a Zune. I have owned iPods and uh, I've been hearing a lot of good things. I like the idea that this can do HD video out. I like the idea of a, uh, a portable media center device with the HD out and then the whole Zune Pass thing also very interesting to me, the subscription based service. So I'm going to put this through its paces. I'm going to check this out. We'll have much, much more on the Zune HD on PhoneDog.com and on, on all your video outlets. You can watch us on the PhoneDog site, YouTube, iTunes, and uh, all over the web, apparently. Till next time, my name is Noah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. That's me right there behind the camera. Bye-bye.